we are in Mesa Verde National Park. Here there are a number of archaeological sites which can serve the Pueblo people's uh, structures. So about 1200 years ago or 1200 AD is when these homes and structures date to. These were made by Native American peoples. They left the area around 1200. It, it's thought due to changes in climate and resource and things like that and they moved further south and east to, to find other more habitable places. The structures are made out of sandstone. Essentially they made sandstone bricks and made them into little buildings in which they lived against the, uh, the rock faces of the, within the canyons. You should get a pair of crocs like him. Who wears it better? He does. <laughs> Wildfires came through here in 2002 and, as you can see, burnt all the trees out. They haven't returned. Rangers now prevent fires by doing a back-burning process to get rid of some foliage and decrease the risk of fire spread. Fuel loads are technical time. Fuel loads. Got it, everyone? Fuel loads. Check. <laughs> and he wants to wrestle me. <sighs> I always find myself imagining what it would have been like living here. It would have been warm, even in winter, with the brick. And what are we looking at? This is even older than Yeah, this is 800. Ones. This is ancestral Pueblo housing, houses, village. This is, dates to 800 AD or CE, whichever you prefer. That was the most densely populated of them all. Um, they're a farming community. And I imagine that they would have had wooden structures and vegetation for roofs, uh, which has obviously just disappeared given the time. But some of the stuff, this little spot over here, this little spigot coming out, is definitely a water chase to push water out through this way, which they probably would have collected. The bricks are pretty cool. They're all hand crafted. There's tools, tools in the museum showing how they kind of whack the sandstone to shape it. How many of these bricks do you reckon could lay an hour, Dad? Oh, you'd, you'd be lucky to do half. <laughs> half a brick an hour? Yeah, because they're quite heavy and they got extra concrete. Oh, he doesn't do the concreting, does he? he that's what he does. Oh, what do you mean? Okay. Interesting place. Repeat that. <laughs> I said, what an interesting place. It adds more fuel to the argument. Before you said fuel to the fire, which I thought was quite funny. Fuel to the fire. Because we're in the fire grounds, but continue. It's often said about how when Europeans came to like America or Australia um, and they colonised the place, an often argument used as it was appropriate to colonise is that well, the people there weren't farming, which first of all is rather convenient that you've picked farming as a thing to base your colonisation definition on. But anyway... But they also have a definition of farming because these people... These people were farming. Were they had houses. It's just people don't want to admit that, that Europeans invaded. It's, it's that simple. They invaded and took the land of other people. It is that simple. There's no, oh, we, it was all okay, we brought them culture. No, they had their own culture. They had their own stuff going on. I think we just have to accept that. That's what happened. This is the side of history we now live on. We have to accept that wrongs were done. What we can do about that now, well, don't really know, but still, we have to just accept that people did things like that back then. Do you think that the national parks taking on this land and preserving things are a bit of acceptance? Well, certainly it seems like that from the National Park side of things. They seem to highlight these stories really well and bring them out. And it is accepting of that um, history. However, 
mini doka looks like that was trying to be erased from history. But maybe that's because it's fresher. Maybe that was also just in the middle of nowhere. I don't know, but this is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. It's also a funding issue. They only have a certain amount of funding. It only stretches so far. Balcony, balcony House has 150 rooms and 21, they refer to them as kivas, which it, I think it refers to actually like little houses. So you can imagine the little village of people living down there in this canyon. And on the canyon just over the other side is another uh, little kind of village with houses and, and 100 rooms or so. I'm here trying to find Balcony House, which is small windows somewhere hidden in the rock. And I look over, wondering where Dustin's gone. You ready? Let's go. Where are you going? <laughs> We're going. I was trying to find the house. It's over there. It's just rocks. 